Of course, just about every work of art in the DIA has an interesting story behind it. Conservator Tom Dickinson is working to restore a frame that houses the painting Evangeline Discovering Her Affianced in the Hospital. The painting depicts the final scene in the story of Evangeline, made famous by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's 1847 poem of the same name. Evangeline and Gabriel, a betrothed Acadian couple, are separated when forced out of their homeland. After searching for her lost love for many years, Evangeline finally despairs of ever finding her fiancé. She enters a convent and devotes the rest of her life to charitable service. In a Philadelphia hospital, she unexpectedly meets Gabriel on his deathbed and ends her quest of many years, giving thanks to God for having seen him one last time. The frame that houses Evangeline complements the painting with its wonderfully ornate gilded leaves and flowers. Tom Dickinson explains how he restored the frame to its original state. This frame has some real specific cleaning issues, uh, and I, I would just like to caution, any frame has, again, what we refer to as a gilding scheme. It could be uh, water gilding, oil gilding combination. This frame actually has a combination. So um, here you've got some oil gilding. This is oil gilding, but in here are parts which is called water gilding. So what I would use to clean an oil gilded surface is very different than what I would use to clean a water gilded surface. So if anybody's looking at frames, and of course I encourage everybody to look at frames, you have to s learn how to identify what the material is and how it was laid. In this frame, um, fortunately for me, because it, it speeds the action up a lot, is it's primarily an oil gilded frame so that this dirt that's on here is is literally just sort of dust and dirt. It's grime. And it cleans off quite easily. And the surface on this frame is very tough. And so I'm able to be much more aggressive with cleaning it than I would be in a, in a delicate, highly burnished, water gilded frame with no surface coating. So this frame, being dirt, I can just take cotton swabs and an aqueous solution. In this case, I'm using an ammonium citrate, which is really just ammonia and water, um, very, very dilute. It doesn't need a whole lot of uh, action to it. And I have simply take swabs after, after vacuuming it. I take swabs and I, and I clean it off, almost as if you were sponging it or bathing it. Um, and it works really well. So this frame, probably out of its, out of its ornament, it was missing, you know, 40% of it on the, the flower and the decorative elements. So my job is to replace that um, lost ornament. And there's different methods to do that. Uh, generally, I do, uh, I make casts or molds and then I cast from that. And so it's carving and, and um, fitting these pieces into place. Uh, often it, it's kind of like almost like a jigsaw puzzle where I, I have, in this case, this frame had a lot of pieces um, you know, that were in separate bags or wrapped up, and so I laid them out, and I look and spend time, and, and when I can find where it went, I glue it back on. Sometimes I often end up with, you know, several that I just can't find, you know. They're, um, uh, but in every case that I can reattach the original, I do. Um, this frame, even though it had some, some of its original ornaments, were so badly, uh, I would almost say, decomposed because of... Uh, um, they were made out of silk ornament uh, flowers, and they were just beyond salvation. I couldn't, I couldn't repair them, so I've removed them, and I'm, I've made um, replacement for them. After the frame has been, let's say, reassembled, I've done all the casting, sculpting, fills, uh, then I have to treat the surfaces, and generally that's what we call gilding, which is a pretty generic term for applying metal. It can be gold, it can be uh, composition leaf, it can be silver leaf, it can be laid leaf or painted on, but the gilding is then what I do, and I do that as close to the original method, but not always. Um, and so if it's a 23 karat gold leaf frame, I'm going to try to be specific about the carat that I use and the material underneath, and so I will apply the gold and uh, to match the um, adjacent gilding. And then the next, probably often the most difficult part of the job after all that is done is then I have to recreate 
the, the sort of antique look. So often what I'm trying to do is, is restore the frame to the original um, idea of it, original look of it, however, without making it look new. Uh, something that frame conservation does that's different than paintings conservators is that uh, frames want to look old. They still want to look antique. So um, I'm st trying to preserve the patination and the feel that it's an antique versus making it look like it just came out of a workshop. Frame conservation is a, is a rather new concept or a new discipline in, cons in the field of conservation. Um, only in the last 20 years or 25 years would a museum have a dedicated frame conservator. In the past, it'd be a furniture conservator or maybe uh, a painting conservator, but somebody that wasn't specifically trained in the gilding and uh, in frame conservation. Uh, so what I do, uh, my job is more or less dedicated to the frames. And often what I'm dealing with is not only those issues that I've mentioned before where it's just, you know, age and time and neglect, but also a lot of what I have to do is reverse treatments that were done in the past that uh, by today's standards are considered quite inferior. It's been kind of exciting in that uh, I've been able to fabricate some new elements and ornament that uh, through methods that had not used before. And so there's been a discovery process that's been quite rewarding. So in a year from now, maybe two years, uh, as the galleries are renovated and this frame is finished, all four members are, are brought up to a finished quality, uh, it will be remarried to the painting and for the first time in 75 years perhaps, uh, painting and frame will be re-exhibited for the first time in, in what we hope is as close to the original state it had been in when the artist completed.